and welcome to the Hillbury Theatre. My name is Alan Ball and I'm a third year actor from Chicago. Uh, you might remember me from past Hillbury productions such as uh, Born Yesterday or Midsummer Night's Dream or Hay Fever. For the past three years, I've been given the opportunity to grow as an artist because of help from generous patrons like you. And on behalf of the entire Hillbury Company, I want to thank you for being a part of our family uh, because you understand what an important part theater plays in our community. So, on behalf of the entire Hillbury Company, I hope you enjoy the Cider House Rules. Hi, I'm Blair Anderson, co-directing the Cider House Rules for the Hillbury Theater, and welcome to the show. Cider House is, is a special piece. Uh, John Irving is a really uh, incredible writer, and uh, he acknowledges his uh, debt to Charles Dickens, and Dickens is mentioned throughout the play. And the same way that Dickens addressed social issues and moral issues, uh, the, the excitement of the piece is that it's not just one person's story. Uh, there are two main characters, Dr. Larch and Homer, but there are a number of other characters in the play. Melanie, Wally, Candy, the nurses, Nurse Edna, Nurse Angela. All of them have arcs that they go through, and the play spans, it begins in 1920-something, it ends in 1950-something, and uh, but it flashes back, back to the 1890s. So it has this great arc of time. Cider House Rules for me uh, really signifies this, uh, this journey. I think it talks to all of us uh, as we have grown up, had to make hard decisions about what we were going to do with our lives and how we are going to fit into our society. Uh, the piece has such ramifications for absolutely everyone. It's the journey. It's the journey that we all see. And I watch uh, students and my daughter going through the same kinds of journeys themselves. So it's, uh, it's very personal. I truly hope you enjoy the show, and I hope you tell all your friends and neighbors. I hope you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed working on it. Thank you. Christopher Ellis, I'm a second year actor here, and I'm playing Dr. Larch in the Cider House Rules. And I am Andrew Papa, I'm also a second year actor here at the Hillbury, and I am playing Homer Wells in the Cider House Rules. The thing about these two shows is the scope of the span of years that go by. My character is something 30, 40 years that you see him develop. Um, it starts off with a, another actor playing the younger version of myself, and then I play about 30 or 40 years uh, in develop, and, and how I um, um, deal with Homer and, and how we um, um, grow um, in our relationship. And so that part was very rewarding for me um, to go, okay, this is where we start, and this is where we end, and the audience just to, gets to come along for the ride and kind of see the highlights of it. Yeah. For me, it's, it's interesting. Um, my character goes through such a dramatic transformation because of the scope, because of how many years go by. You see Homer from literally, quite literally, birth until middle age. So uh, for me, the challenge, but also the, the fun of it, was finding that full spectrum of age, you know, playing a, playing, you know, a very young child to, you know, sort of an older child, adolescent, and then going into a young adult and then um, an adult. Um, and both Lavinia and Blair were great in helping me sort of play with different aspects of, you know, what's childlike and where do these transitions happen and when are the moments in Homer's life when he sort of transforms from maybe a young adult into an adult or an adolescent into a young adult? What are those transformational moments, those key moments in his life that make him, you know, sort of shift? And um, it, it was really, really exciting and really challenging and really only something that can be done in a production like this. 
to get in a character, um, like I said before, you know, th this is such a huge spectrum of, of, of age and growth for Homer. Um, one of the things that I did look into um, was, uh, you know, he's trained by Dr. Larch in obstetrics. So while I'm not a professional in obstetrics, I definitely, um, I got a nice old copy of Grey's Anatomy and all, and looked over, you know, all of the different uh, developmental pictures and information on uh, reproductive growth and reproductive health. Um, that helped a lot. And then also reading the book uh, was a huge thing. I did that over Christmas break, and that was a great tool for research. I, I used the same thing. I, I, I looked at the book, um, and it really helps you while you're developing the character uh, to to see what they do in the book and go, okay, the book fills in the gaps of the, of the character. So you're saying you don't get to see everything the characters do during that day, but in the book, you do. You get to see why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, and so that really helped fill in the gaps as well. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. We certainly hope you, you enjoy the production, both productions. Uh, thank you and enjoy the show. Take care. <laughs>